for you! Welcome back, I'm Captain Xavier, and I am a shameless fan of getting free stuff. And the item I have today is one that I have been trying to get them to send to me for quite a while. Um, I asked for it from several different companies, but it never made it to the top of the list of the things that they really wanted reviewed. At one point, I finally ordered it myself, but uh, my contact with that company canceled my order because they saw it come in and said, well, we're just going to send you this stuff, don't worry about ordering things. And then, unfortunately, they quit being quit working there before it finally got sent to me, and so it never did get to me. Finally, Banggood reached out to me again recently and actually had me set up uh, an affiliate program, so I I may get money if you order one of these? I have no idea. Um, but I'm pretty sure that's how it works. I'm not worried about that. I just want to show off this thing because I've wanted one for so long. It is a rucksack. I've been, I have several different combat backpacks that I really like, but none of them were open on the top. And this one from the pictures looked like it was... And I liked all the other designs about it. Yeah, it came with a came with a china patch, which is cool. I'll put that on the wall. Why not? Uh, and this one is open on the top. And uh, it, it, it fit a number of features and functions that I really wanted for um, future auxiliary stuff. So I uh, finally got him to get, to get me one. And I will probably end up ordering at least two more for various reasons and I, I encourage some of you to acquire one if you're going to be at one of the big events because there will be a huge use for these. Uh, it has shoulder straps that um, hook fairly high up which distributes the weight a little bit better and then it has a waist belt which takes the weight off of some of the weight off of your shoulders so that is I really like that design. It also has a convenient wall hook. Not sure why. It doesn't have nearly as much molly as I, for some reason, imagined it would. It's got the little bit right here, which is not quite right. It should have another row of stitching between all of these to make it proper molly, but it would still work. It just might be a little bit looser than you'd like, unless you went just where the, the stitching is. It would not be difficult to add the the, the extra, the, the other stitch, but um, it you really don't... I'm, I'm not terribly worried about the lack of molly because of how many pouches this thing has built into it. It has this one on the back, which is the size of a school backpack quite frankly uh, you then have a, a lower one down here and then pouches on either side and finally there is actually a pouch on the top flap just a little one in there just because it had more space i guess but i i, I would have liked to see maybe some molly here and some molly up here and again it would be very easy to add it yourself if you really really wanted it uh, it then also does have just a loop here that you could put, you know, a, a bundle of some kind, a, a tent, a sleeping bag, an extra, a spare blaster, any number of things that you could put in there. These are a little bit loose, so I will probably end up, you know, rolling these over and stitching them so they can't slide out. Uh, just so it doesn't come apart and your stuff doesn't fall off, which would be nice. Uh, yeah, it has these strap these here but they don't seem to go to anything but they're there and then hooks on the top um, but what I love about it is the fact that it's open at the top and it does have a uh, drawstring which is open which is nice because you could then thread in say um, some kind of either aluminum or metal or plastic to give this a little bit more rigidity to hold open at which point what you have is an absolutely enormous back-mounted dump pouch. Uh, one of the problems that I run into on some of the bigger events when you go through a lot of ammunition is your dump pouch for your empty magazines gets full. Uh, or, you know, if you you could probably put them back into your vest, but then you run the risk of accidentally pulling an empty one when you need a full one. And uh, it's easier to, you know, to dump them into a dump pouch and then deal with them when you have the opportunity uh, but if I also generally keep loose darts in there for topping up magazines, and if I run out of room, then you start just dumping magazines on the ground, and you end up not getting your magazine back, then that's a problem. So something like this would be an enormous dump pouch, which would be more than any one person would likely need. Uh, the, I, it would be fairly, fairly difficult to carry enough magazines uh, in pouches on yourself to fill this. I know of a couple people who have loadouts that almost certainly could, but most people don't, and I only run with you know, six mags on my vest and one in my blaster, uh, plus whatever I've got in other blasters on me. So this would be something that would be a squad support item, because you'd have one person in your squad that is the dedicated dump pouch that, in combat, you would probably 
dump your pouches or dump your mags into your own personal pouch. But then in between engagements, when the column is moving, that person could then go through and empty, you know, people's dump pouches and dump them into this to free up their dump pouch for, you know, future use. Um, the other thing that I would love to see is one of these, you know, in, uh, especially for the big last stand if kind of things, if those end up happening, like happened at Ragnar Oktoberfest last year uh, and West vs. Zombies this year, would be uh, one of these that's just full of full magazines. So that could then be dumped at the site of the last stand and people could re, you know, top, you know, uh, pick up full magazines out of it as needed or you'd have someone in the in the on the line who is dedicated to just going around and checking people, are you are you low on ammo, low on ammo, you know, uh, squad leaders should be doing that sort of thing and then could then uh, resupply people from the from the from the backpack. Uh, they would then also have another one of these, which is why I'm wanting three. Uh, one of these that is just full of loose darts. This would hold several thousand loose darts. Probably probably at least 2,000 loose darts, I would imagine. Maybe more. Uh, to then reload empty magazines. Again, whenever opportunity arises. So if there's, you know, a half hour break between the last mission and, you know, the final stand... You could top up all of the empty magazines that have been emptied throughout the day from the from the from mag from the, the dart bag, uh, and just have that much more ammunition available. Because big glass stands, one of the things that will finally wear down the humans is running out of ammunition. Uh, that is what happened at Ragnar Oktoberfest. I know a lot of people that ended up going down because after n nine waves of zombies, they were simply out of ammo. Uh, I went through over a thousand rounds in that last stand, and by the tenth wave, the final wave that we managed to hold, I was down to an empty auto strife and a sword, and was just using the auto strife to menace people so that they'd pause long enough for someone else to get a tag, and then was actually getting all my, my kills with a sword. Uh, a dedicated ammo mule would have been extremely useful for that event. So, that is what I'm hoping to do with it for that. The other more ambitious plan and I'm, I'm it's I've wanted to do it for a while and it, this backpack turned out to be far more perfect for it than I was expecting and that is a, a, a magazine dispensing backpack so the reason this is more perfect than I expected is because it's actually square I was expecting it to be round which wouldn't have worked for that nearly as well but because this is squared at the bottom and the profile is pretty much perfect for an 18 round magazine I will be getting another one of these to, to build a, a mag dispenser into. So I'll end up building some kind of a frame inside to make it, you know, have it have a rigid shape. And then some kind of a follower that slides down on that frame um, to, you know, keep tension on the magazine so that they get pushed down. And then at the bottom end, there'll be some kind of a ramp, you know, a, a curved ramp or something that forces the last magazine out the bottom end of the backpack so that you can pull it out. Um, and the, the follower will be designed in such a way that it's open to the top. So as the follower goes down, you end up having space at the top where you can put the empty magazines. So you'll eventually have full magazines, follower, empty magazines, and it'll just, you'll be able to just toss them over your shoulder into your mag dispenser. And uh, if that works out well, I will definitely do a video on that and make that, uh, that concept available. So... Yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to it. This is definitely the exact backpack that I was hoping. It was actually even more perfect than I expected because I didn't expect it to be to have sharp seams on the side. That was that, that sharp corner. So very very cool. It's exactly the size that I was hoping it would be, and yeah yeah, it's it's fantastic. So uh, link will be down in the description. Again, apparently it's an affiliate link. I don't know what exactly that means nor do I care um, this is just something I've been wanting to get and have available for the auxiliary for a while so Banggood has them I will be doing more reviews for them because apparently I'm an affiliate now and they want me to do stuff so Banggood's got a lot of weird stuff they've got some I think of the worker stuff as well as ammunition and lots of tactical gear and I think tools and all sorts of stuff so who knows? Take a look at their website, and if there's stuff you really would like me to review because you're, you're on the fence on whether or not you should get it, go ahead and let me know, because I'm, I'm game to do reviews for whatever is on that site. Uh, so let me know. And uh, thanks for watching. <laughs>